What's going on, YouTube fam? Your boy D Money DMG back with another exclusive video. This video right here is going to be a little different. Uh, it's going to be touching on the gospel artist or the pastor slash artist Donnie McClurkin. Uh, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. This is gonna be like I said. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little different, man, from the subjects that I have on my channel right here. Because to give y'all a little brief uh, backstory, man, you know, about 10, 11 years ago, your boy used to be really heavy in the church. You know what I'm saying? And uh, really going hard with the Bible and stuff until I started doing a lot of research and all of that. And you know. Uh, yeah, um, there's been shift changes in my life. So I was really heavy into the, the gospel scene, you know, when it comes to the rapping scene and just, you know, singing, you know, uh, Mary, Mary and, you know, uh, <clears throat> gospel artists like Lecrae. And uh, his camp reach records and, you know, Kirk Franklin and, you know, the whole shebang, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, um, long story short, I remember about maybe 10 years ago or maybe it's been longer than that. Um, you know, Christian folks can help me out in the comment section. Um, Donnie was talking about how he was dealing with, you know, some type of sexual identity crisis in his life years ago. And um, I don't know if at that in particular time where he said that, you know, he was, you know, with men at time and stuff and sneaking on back roads and all that other stuff. But um, I think, you know, he hinted towards that. And so what's going on right now currently is he's talking about how um, he don't think he will ever be married to one individual, you know, when he's already in his sixties and he don't have any kids from um, what I know. Um, and if you guys check the audio out, I'm not going to put the audio in here um, on him uh, speaking. I think it's on TV one or one of these big platforms where, you know, uh, he do his thing and stuff like that. And um, he was talking about how he just wants someone to be able to be in bed with and, um, uh, he needs some kind of companionship, but he don't think he'll ever get married. And then I think somewhere in the clip, if I'm not mistaken, where he talked about, you know, he was dealing with, you know, with men and women in the past and all of this. So long story short, long, 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 long story short, you know what I'm saying? Let me just get cut to the chase. I know it's been a little minute, you know, of me talking and not getting to the point. But my point is, is this, look, Donnie McClurkin, bro. Um, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You love men or you like men and you want to be with a man. Okay, so, bro, live your truth. You know, live your truth, bro, because the biggest problem a lot of people have is trying to fake the funk for everyone else and the public's, you know, image and uh, the, the, you know, trying to impress everyone else, but the number one thing that everyone needs to do, you know, myself included Donnie and everyone else, keep it real with yourself first. That's number one. And then you're able to keep it real with everyone else. But if you keep it, if you're not keeping it real with yourself first and you just trying to worry about what other people is going to think, this is when depression comes along um self hate um anxiety uh suicide and everything else man and so look bro if you love men and you like men and you want to be with a man bro then go ahead and pursue it i know you in the church bro 
I know, you know, you're real heavy in the gospel and everything and all of that. I know you didn't pray probably a hundred million times that God will take the gay away. Um, you prayed the gay away. You fasted the gay away. Uh, you know, uh, you, you told God to take all of the urges and all of that stuff or whatever. I understand all of that in the Bible and certain parts talk about, you know, homosexuality is an abomination, but then there's a whole bunch of other abominations and a whole bunch of other sins and there's just a plethora of different, you know, things that um, the Bible says. And so, I mean, it's no point of just suppressing these feelings that you've been having for all of this amount of time. And, you know, it, it, it still rises up in you, man. You're looking at another man like, mm, yeah, you know, who, you know, or you may be watching, you know, homosexual porn, you know, uh, homosexuality porn or male porn, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Or, you know, you just, you know, have this urge, whatever, whatever, bro. But the thing is, keep it real with yourself. If this is the life that you feel that, you know, uh, you know, God gave you. I know that may sound crazy to a lot of people that follow the Bible and all of that. Or you, 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 you know, you were younger, you were molested maybe. And then like, you know, you know, I don't know, things conjured up in you when, you know, you, you know, you love men or, you know, guys, whatever. And, you know, you, you're, you're homosexual, whatever. But nevertheless, man, the thing is, man, like keep living the lie. And not keeping it real with yourself, man, is only going to hurt you and hurt you and hurt you. And it has been hurting you, obviously, for all of this amount of time, bro. So, hey, forget everything else, man. Like, I'm not saying give up on God and Christianity and the Bible and all of that. But if it's holding you back from having peace in your life and you know you're you're just you know you just want to impress everybody else man i can't come out you know i'm donnie and i'm the gospel singer and i'm the gospel preacher and i can't do that because they look it, it is what it is that's the only way you're going to have peace in your life is keeping it real with yourself on what you feel like you want to do or what type of lifestyle you want to live but keep lying to yourself and lying over and over and over again and all of that bro you're just going to stay depressed. You're going to stay, you know, with low self-esteem. Um, and it's, 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 it's a never ending story, bro. So Donnie, bro, just come out and say, this is what you want. And this is how you want to live. You're homosexual. You like men. You want to be with a man. It's that simple. You know, you already didn't hit it and said subliminal stuff and then you didn't, you know, came and probably said, you know, blatant stuff, whatever. Just just go with it, bro. Just come out because once that happens, a load is going to lift off of you and you're going to finally have peace in your life. So with that being said, man, your boy D Money DMG, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all that good stuff, and I'll holler at y'all later. Till next time. Peace.